Campaigning on campus <laughs> once again puts us in the spotlight for the presidential race. Good evening. I'm Pam Elliott. And I'm Mark Allen. We're used to it here at Ohio, of course. Vice President Joe Biden focused on jobs today during his address to a packed house at Wright State University Student Union. This was Biden's third trip to Ohio just in the past two weeks. He first today paid tribute to the four Americans killed in Libya, including our U.S. Ambassador. Mr. Biden then transitioned to the domestic issues at the heart of this election, making his case for why the Democrats, in his opinion, are the best choice for the Miami Valley, and it's centered around jobs. Since we've come to office, 500,000 good-paying manufacturing jobs have been created more than any time since the early 90s. And they say manufacturing is dead not as long as we're around. It's not dead. He also touched on the deficit, Medicare, college tuition, and caring for our veterans, which drew a standing ovation from the crowd. Tickets to the event at Wright State were free, but just because you had one did not necessarily mean you actually got in. Among those who was on hand for the vice president's speech, our Katie Houston joins us live with more in our top story at 6. Hi, Katie. Hi, Mark. Yeah, you had to have a ticket to get into the student union building here at Wright State to hear Vice President Joe Biden speak today. But it was a relatively small venue, and not everybody fit. Well, God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Thank you. So the vice president just wrapped up speaking in this room, but there were so many people with tickets to see him speak that they had to open up overflow room right here. They didn't get to see the vice president speak live. I was disappointed. I was disappointed. But, you know, we were there, we were in there cheering and just like they were in the other room. Uh, maybe a little let down, but uh, it was fine. We had good, comfortable seats. They say they still liked what they heard, though. I like the way the Obama uh, campaign is being run to help the middle class and to help the poor. I love that he talked about Medicare. I'm getting at that age, so this is something I know is in my future. The Fairborn Fire Marshal says safety first. About 900 people inside reached capacity. So 100 more watched on TV screens across the way. But some never even made it through the doors, even though they had a ticket. I think that was incredibly poor pouring uh, planning in advance to set up because they knew what the capacity was. They had tickets that they distributed. And we're sitting here holding tickets that were no good for almost two hours now. Nonetheless, that's the way it, uh, that's the way it works. It's, you know, so we're still for them. <laughs> you know. My sincere apologies to them for not being able to get in. I, I appreciate the effort they made to get here. And, I... and some didn't want a seat at all. Protesters across the street made their voices heard outside as the vice president spoke inside. So GM uh, is alive? I don't think so. GM bail? our pensions. Now, I spoke with the Obama campaign about those people who didn't get in to see the vice president speak. They tell me they are sorry about that, but they say they're excited to see that the enthusiasm that they say that shows for the ticket here in the Miami Valley. And they encourage people attending future rallies to arrive even earlier because they say they will be back here in the Miami Valley. We should also note that both VP candidates in Ohio today, Paul Ryan, is speaking this evening in Claremont County. Now, Katie, we understand there were more than just people out supporting the <laughs> vice president and President Obama at Rice State today. Right, Pam, are you possibly referring to uh, Beowulf and Wolfman? We have you some video for you oh. to check out. So the dog owner is his name is Michael Gilbert. He's a U.S. veteran. This is his service dog. The dog also works with children who have autism. Gilbert, also a dog trainer, so the dog was very well behaved. But he says he dresses him up in Obama gear. He says everybody loves dogs, so it's a great conversation starter. He says he's starting the first Barack canine pack, and he is looking for people to join. He says he has more presidential pup gear. So Mark and Pam both man and beast getting involved in this uh, hotly contested presidential election. Reporting live at Wright State University, Katie Houston, 2 News.